Hi folks, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located just down the street from all the shiny lights on the strip. If you ever come here on vacation, you can come in here and check out all the really cool cars that we have to offer. Maybe you take one home. We've got a uh, car show that we run every single Saturday morning while we're here in town, three, 400 cars. You can find that at celebritycars.com. Okay, you clicked on the 72 Camaro. This one's yellow, folks. It's all one color yellow. Black stripes. Overall good condition. Folks, this is a, this is a driver. This is a car meet. Um, uh, a car meet car show car. Uh, it needs a couple refinements to its, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, to its uh, drivetrain, I believe. Um, it's uh, got a, a, a vibration. You can hear some, uh, some exhaust pipes doing their thing. I let it warm up for a long time and it still kind of sort of made a, a small vibration. Uh, but folks, the drive it, the steering, it's, uh, it's effortless. The transmission is beautiful. The motor runs awesome. It is not a posi traction rear end, um, but it gets up and goes for sure. The, the engine compartment is very attractive. It's, it's, a really nice, it's a really nice looker, is what it is. Um, <clears throat> it's got some rust. I'll show you where that is. Um, the, the black stripes um, and the paint in the front, uh, something had spattered up on it at one point and kind of like ate away a little bit of the paint in small little dots. Uh, <clears throat> the chrome is all, uh, is all in great shape. It just has the normal abrasions to it that, uh, you know, that a uh, 50 year old, <laughs> Uh, Chrome will we'll find, um, but it's all straight, and it's a really nice car. It just—I'm uh, your living, breathing, conditioning reporter here at Celebrity Cars. I want to tell you these things about it before we get we get rolling, and then I'm going to show you. Some. I did not do an undercarriage video yet. In the next week or so, you'll probably see an undercarriage video sitting right up next to this one at CelebrityCars.com, and you can check out the undercarriage video. So I don't know what it looks like underneath there, but I can show you all these things. But so again. It all appears to be one yellow. It was all painted at the same time. There aren't any panels that look a little funny. Um, the black stripes, obviously, they look like they were done all at the same time. Um, a little bit of polish um, as far as the, yeah, it's nice and smooth. I think, um, I think a good polish would clean up a lot of uh, the light swirls <clears throat> in the black stripes. We're gonna get up and close in just a moment. Uh, but unfortunately, these little speckles up here have, have kind of eaten through. But I mean, a nice detail obviously will, will make a lot of this look, look better. Um, that's going to be your job once you get it home and, uh, and you, you get all your favorite waxes and polishes and clay bars out. But you can see along here, this is, uh, you know, just takes a little effort. Um, we, we, uh, we've been a little busy around here these days and uh, we don't have a chance to get to every car. Uh, the windshield is in in great shape. I do see um, there is a small chip here and a small chip here and uh, a small one there. Do you need to replace the windshield? Absolutely not. But these are small chips that I'm calling chips because uh, I can see them while I'm driving down the road. Oh sure, uh, there's one here, there's one there, uh, there's one, it's a really small one there, it's not, that's a who cares, and then there's one there. Now looking at the rest of this hood, this is, uh, this is not a fiberglass hood, this is a metal hood um, and uh, it's, you know, it's heavy to lift up. The yellow paint is beautiful. Uh, you get to, over to this location, you'll, you'll continue to see the swirls in the black. Um, these are painted stickers, or, uh, painted stickers, that was a funny thing to say. These are painted stripes, folks, these are not stickers. Uh, <clears throat> you'll see these little speckles. Um, they're bumps, folks, and they're, and they're not coming off bumps. Um, could they be detailed to look a little bit better? I'm, I'm sure they could. But so this is, you know, just a little, uh, you know, a, a weekend. Pro There's a small stain right there in the hood, uh, almost as, as if somebody dropped their, spilled a little bit of wine right there. Uh, that that probably would come out in a good detail. I know that was funny to say, but whatever. Um, and uh, you, you'll see light abrasions in this uh, as, as well. But folks, the, the sheet metal is, is really nice. I don't see a whole bunch of bumps and wobbles. Um, you know, it's, le it's, it's yellow, so I, I mean, there, there could be some. I, I can't, you know, it's hard, you know, to do one of these things with your eyes back and forth. Nothing's jumping out at me as, as a big ding or dent. And you know, these days you can kind of sort of get those things fixed. But when there's a lot of it, then you're, you're kind of in trouble. 
but this is really, really nice. Just really needs to be shined up and taken care of. Now, if you see this front bumper, you can see the light abrasions from car covers, from cleaning it. If you get over here under this side, sorry, Quincy, um, you can see some of this splash that came from somewhere and kind of set in a little bit. So it's here on the bumper. Um, it, it's, you know, it's kind of in there. Um, and down underneath, Quincy, if you, you don't mind kind of honing down here, this is all in really nice shape. This is on here really good. There's just light abrasions in this plastic, but all of this is wonderful. I mean, the whole grill is in great shape. The SS emblem is in great shape. Uh, I do not know if this is a true SS car, folks. We're gonna, we're gonna go visit that little uh, uh, sticker, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, tag, tag on the Cal tag in here in a couple minutes, and then you guys can decipher that at home. Uh, all across the bottom, these, these uh, turn signal lights down here are really in pretty, pretty shape. Uh, right around the edges is a little, a little bit of patina, but I mean, it's very, very small and very light. I don't see any heavy rust uh, up here. I don't see any rust at all here. This is all really, really good. Okay, we're gonna go right down the passenger side since we've got most of the light on the passenger side right now. The headlights you see there are in really nice shape. <clears throat> we have our rally wheels uh, and hubcaps and uh, they're in, in darn good shape. They look great all the way around, both. Um, in the wheel well here, we're all fine. This is really nice paint. Shows off very nice and clearly. Now, come on down here. This is where we've got, uh, you know, a little bit of bubbling going on. It just seems to be right in this location. I don't feel it at all here whatsoever. It's all right here. This is extremely common and uh, it, is, it is what it is. These chrome moldings on the bottom, I haven't even looked at those yet. I see a little mark in this one. That's got crud will come off. That's just some tar, but they're nice and straight, aren't they? They're, they're, they're super cool all the way down. Uh, you see this body panel, how it lines up here? It's very nice. Not perfect, but it's darn good. You got your side view mirror here is in good shape. All along here looks good. There's a really slight ding right there. Uh, any uh, ding guy can get that out pretty darn easy. Uh, all the way down here. Come on over to my left shoulder, Quincy, if you will. This door almost lines up here perfectly. Uh, uh, I think it does a real nice job. So almost, it's just off by a little bit, folks. Okay, and continuing along here, all this is in good shape. This all looks terrific. Dust bunny, all this looks good. And your wheel and tire, I've got no curb rash or nothing's banged up over back here. I'm just spending another second looking at this. <clears throat> now, we're getting into, you know, these, these uh, second gen Firebirds and Trans Ams. This is a lot of metal. Um, I, I would like to compliment this car on the fact that it, it is very straight. It is extremely, st there's, it, you can't see it. <coughs> there are no signs of massive uh, restorations and bubbles and bumps and, and, and all that kind of stuff. I mean, obviously there's a little because this is a great big piece of steel and it's been around for a while. We all know that. So there's a little bit, but normally, man, it's just, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So this is all looks very, very nice. And in yellow, I mean, even if it was, it's, <laughs> it's kind of hard to see with how bright this car is. All up here looks fantastic. You see the kind of finish that it has on it because of the reflection on the ceiling. Our, our lights up there, it's not, you know, it's not a mirrored finish. Uh, these cars didn't come with mirror finish, but you know, I, I, I'm, obviously this car has been painted at some point and they did, a, uh, they did a nice job. I don't see any paint runs or, or any of that kind of stuff. <clears throat> All right, let's look at the top of this trunk and the rear glass. Rear glass looks really good. The molding around the rear glass looks absolutely terrific. And there's a little, there's really mild, normal patina to the glass. I mean, uh, it just has the little slight marks that I can see from there, a little, you know, there's speckle of, of, uh, of dots. But, but I mean, it's just, it's, it's patina and it looks just fine. Okay, um, back here. Got a little smudge in the paint back here. I mostly go away during the detail we talked about. Again, these are painted on stripes and, uh, I see a small, small mark. This, that's going to get detailed out too. It's not a crack. It's just a little scratch. Again, everything back here would shine up super, super, super nice, um, except for that section right there. It might be a, a, a small blemish. 
But other than that, it's real nice back here. Okay, rear bumper coming down over the spoiler. If you can see the uh, a small little scrape right here, getting through and back down, back down to the yellow paint. Uh, but it's kind of a who cares at this point. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, stripes back here look good. This whole back area, very clean around the tail light lenses, very clean tail light lenses. Um, all of this is in super shape. I'm gonna get down here on the floor just a little and uh, all down here, all metal. Um, I don't see any, I mean, that's a little, that's just a little paint thing I think there. Um, I don't think that that's uh, any kind of rust or anything like that. It's just metal bent. Uh, and once I spin this around here a little bit in light, you can get a good idea of, of I, looking at the gas tank down here, uh, looking at the suspension. It's nice and black down there. It's, it's, not a, it's not a dirty mess. It's not a rusty mess. So, and it's a little hard to see. That's why we'll film the undercarriage in just a few days. This chrome rear bumper, folks, is in really, really nice shape. Every once in a while, I'll see a little mark. This is the nicest piece of chrome on the car by far. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, I'll give it a, 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 a good 9 out of 10 and slight blemishes that a little bit of polish would be able to get those out as well without harming the chrome. Uh, let's see, all back here, all this looks good. All in here looks great. Small chip right here in the paint. See, this is like the first chip I found. It's right there. It's in the wheel well. I mean, that's a chip. I haven't seen any others. That's, you know, it's kind of shocking to me all of a sudden. I see a really small ding right there. Uh, I'm looking down the whole driver's side. It's just a little bit of that metal warble, but man, barely any in comparison to, to what we normally see coming in here. So that's really great. Okay, all the way across here. I see uh, there's a small blemish in the paint right here in the door. Uh, not surprising to you know, get it in and out of here quite a bit. So somebody got it right here. I've never noticed this until now, once again, because the car's so bright. You have to crawl down here on the floor. See where I'm sitting? Uh, this is, I'm, I'm doing this for you guys at home. So you know, if the, you know what kind of work you're gonna need to do if you've been looking for a 72. And folks, I'm happy to say there's nothing going on over here. No bubbles, no nothing. The chrome down here, once again, is in fabulous shape. And I'm looking underneath right now, and you're gonna have to take my word for it, but it looks pretty darn terrific. Just telling you. Nice and black down there, nice and clean. Okay. What I didn't talk about uh, are these side, uh, the side mirrors. This one's got uh, you know, some marks in it from going up and down. Uh, you know, the mechanics in there, they get a little dried up, and then uh, they rub against things, and then they create a little uh, markings in the, in the glass. So I'm pretty sure both of these windows on both sides have those slight lines going up and down. And these are tinted and they could be marks in the tint as well. I'm not really sure. But overall the glass and all the moldings around all the glass look really good. Uh, it's same nick from the back. There's one right here as well. That's really funny. Identical. And, and also, Quincy, if you could share with them how straight it is down there. There's a, there's a little bend towards the bottom, but I mean, I, I wouldn't be picking that apart either. This isn't a show car. This isn't a, you know, this isn't a, a you know, you're not gonna go to a Concorde and, and win first place in this. I mean, it's just, it can, it could one day. It's, it's very nice, but it just needs, you know, needs a bunch of love. Okay, let's look in the interior here. Interior's been obviously upgraded. They did the doors, they did the seats. They didn't go too crazy. And it is actually really attractive. I mean, and they're extremely comfy and they kind of sort of feel new. I have no idea when they were done. Check out the, uh, the, the plate across the, the door sill here. Look inside the door jams. Um, you know, it's, it's, it really looks good, folks. I don't, there's nothing that jumps out and bites at me. You know, they even cleaned inside the door jams. Um, they really cared for this car, so uh, I'm looking underneath the mat here, the SS floor mat, and uh, I see nothing but clean carpet. It looks awesome. All down here, this carpet looks good. Oh, this is wonderful. This is terrific. Yeah, these seats are awesome. Look, getting in and out. There's no signs of wear whatsoever. I mean, I, I would even say that this, this was installed not even that long ago. This is excellent taste. 
Uh, it really looks fabulous. I'm gonna move this real quick. Look at the top of the dash pad. And we see there's no cracks. And it looks absolutely awesome, actually. All right, I'm gonna put this up here. It's a good protector. What, pal? Sticker. Sticker. The sticker here? No, the uh, sticker to see if it's an SS. Oh, oh, well, that's in the engine compartment. We'll get to that in a minute. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not having very good success putting this back up here at the moment. I'll do that in a minute. Okay, uh, center console. We've got gauges all over the place. Uh, <clears throat> got uh, voltage, uh, oil pressure, and water temperature down here. Um, looks like we've got a rally gauges up here as well. Uh, got RP, oh, well, no. Here's your RPM here that was added afterwards. Here's your normal speedometer. You know, if it gets too hot, it flashes up. Got a clock down here. And obviously an aftermarket radio. Now, uh, got a BNM shifter here, and uh, seems to be, uh, 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 it, it's uh, pretty, pretty nice around here. All this is really, really nice. There's a little bit of patina to the chrome here, folks, but it's another who cares. Um, there's cup holders back here. Uh, the rear seats got racing seat belts in them. Um, uh, it's a nice touch, but uh, you, you shouldn't go racing in this car. Um, uh, we're gonna have to clean out the center console. Here's inside the glove box. Gonna have to clean that out too, but they're, we'll make sure they're nice and clean. Um, but uh, la, 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 the steering wheel's in beautiful shape. Again, this steering, I've driven this car. It drives, this is beautiful steering. Ex exceptional steering for one of these cars. It just You just glide down the road. It's super, super cool. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I've got, I don't see any marks in anything in here. This is a, a super sweet interior. The headliner looks to, looks darn new as well, as well as these visors. The visors are in great shape. This interior has been overhauled by, for sure. All of it. Carpet. It's just, uh, I'm not really positive on the carpet, but geez, by looking at it, it kind of sort of looks new. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of go along with the fact that that's been replaced. And then inside this door jam over here, go ahead and see if you don't mind taking a look at this. I didn't talk about the insides of the doors. They're super sharp. What we care about is to make sure that they're not gonna fall off and they're on there really well. And I've grabbed that door a couple times to open and close the door and they're on there really well. I haven't touched that one, but I just did and they're good. But yeah, Quincy's showing here. Okay, cool, sorry, I'll get out of the way. All right, let's look at the inside the trunk here while we're here real quick and we'll wrap up with the motor. Got a really nice carpeted trunk back here. This wall looks good. I'm not going to pull this carpet up because it doesn't seem to pull up. It's glued down. This carpet's glued down. Come with the cane shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just to make sure the wrench doesn't go anywhere. All in here. This looks good. <clears throat> See, uh, yeah, get, get this really good, please, Quincy. You see here in this area here, we've got a little cracking going on. I just wanted you to see it. Uh, there's an odd screw in there. I don't know if that belongs in there or not. I guess it does. Um, and uh, all this is, it, I mean, kind of sort of looks like it, you know, when it, I, I don't know. I don't know which, which of this has been taken apart and put back together again, folks. Uh, we, we, we encourage pre-purchase inspections in cars like this, all right? Uh, <clears throat> underneath here looks good. Looks like we got an OG sticker. Um, nice car. Okay, come on over here, Quincy. We're gonna pop open the hood. We're gonna get this cow tag up here. I don't even know if it still exists on this car. I presume it would. And then, uh, you know, if you're watching this video, you can comment below. Boy, I've never said that before, have I? You can decipher the uh, cow tag and, and list it for me. Uh, uh, that would be pretty darn cool. Come on over here, Quincy. Let's do that first. Can you hone in on that for me there, buddy? It's a little difficult to do. Sorry about that. Got to make sure that that's on our uh, website as well. So we'll talk to our photographer and make sure that he got that. That, might, that uh, can get missed if you don't really know what you're looking for. But here we go, folks. Check out the 350 in here. Again, it runs really good. I, it's also, I see air conditioning here, in here, so it's set up for air conditioning. Once we get in the car, we'll turn on the air conditioning and see if we have air conditioning. 
But uh, some of it looks, uh, you know, kind of sort of recently done. And that's a strong suit of this car is the engine and the transmission. They, they, they're, they're wonderful. You know, you just see a little bit of rust down on the corner. You get a little, you know, get a little leery about things. But there's also, a, a, we'll get into it once we get driving, this little vibration going on. But uh, it doesn't seem to hinder any of his drivability. I just think, honestly, John, it's just a, some uh, adjustments down there that need to be done. Maybe a different bracket for a, uh, an exhaust pipe kind of thing. It's just kind of one of those sounds. So anyway, we're going to drive it now. Stay tuned. Uh, the 72 Camaro. It's a really, really nice car. Just needs a little love. We'll be right back. Oh, you know what? Just about every kid's dream, if you're over 50 and not too much older than that, is uh, to find yourself planted in a 1972 or second generation Camaro from the early years. Um, yeah, even though the Transformers car was a 1977, it just has this same kind of color scheme. But uh, yeah, this, this was the body style to, to pretty much have, the, the 70, 71, 72, 73. Super, super cool car. Um, Folks, once again, I, I, my story doesn't change on this beautiful uh, upgrade, this beautiful leather around the dashboard. Uh, they really went all out. And you know what else is super cool? I mentioned earlier in the video, hopefully you're still following along. You know, you got your, I mentioned all the other stuff, and then you have that, that you know, the power button at the generator over here, uh, and the oil, and the temp gauge. And then I mentioned the clock. Remember me mentioning the clock? The clock works, folks. I haven't touched it. I haven't played with that little doohickey down here in the bottom. I've done nothing with it. It's my phone says it's one, you know, forty-three. It's it's one forty-three. Anyway, Quincy, it's very rare and difficult to, and you know, costs money to to get the clock up, up and going. It, it's uh, it's really neat to see that that still functions. Okay, we saw an air conditioner in there, and I see uh, my uh, my climate control down here. We're going to play with that once we fire it up, uh, folks. Like I said earlier, <clears throat> got a couple little weird vibrations going on in this car. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, the, 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 the axle making noise. I don't know if it's uh, um, uh, the differential making noise. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's an exhaust pipe making noise. I'm not really sure what it is. I'm pretty sure it's not like recreate the wheel and a gajillion dollars, and I'm just going to say it out loud. Um, it's, uh, it's, you know, so it's just something that's a little loose and needs to be tightened up back there. I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe we can, you can tell after I get this videoed underneath. But it, it makes some it makes some noises while you're cruising it around. Uh, I, I don't know where it's coming from. But anyway, key in the ignition. Let's start it up and show you what we do have. Start it up every single time since we've gotten it. I haven't touched the gas pedal. Just turned the air conditioner on. I felt the RPM drop just a moment, and then it went back up to where it's supposed to be. It's set on cold. I have it on uh, AC, and I'm just waiting for it to get uh, colder than it is. So we'll just be a little patient here for a moment. Okay, now I put it on normal. I'll report back to you in a minute, folks. Here's the vent. The reason why I'm doing this is because I didn't feel a blatant change in air conditioning. So I can hear the compressor go on. We're in good shape. But I'm not feeling air conditioning. It's just air. Nice air. So let's just say we probably need some Freon put in there because uh, it's slightly cool, but it's 52 degrees outside. So uh, maybe, I'll, okay, we're going to, we're going to say, we're going to say, let's get back to that. And you can call with any questions about that 702-818-1031. And we'll get back onto that soon. Okay, but right now we're sitting here, we're at idle. I'm gonna rev it just for RPM's sake. We're sitting here at, uh, I'm gonna say 1400 and change RPM. Good rev just brought me down to 900 RPM. And while I sit here, I can hear a little, like a tin can rattling kind of thing. I would think that probably has something to do with the exhaust pipe. 
it's very light and it's mild and you know we're down at 900 rpm there's a good vibration going on in the car but other than that besides the tin can that's all i hear sitting here all right gonna put my foot on the brake go down into drive like i said transmission motor is just wonderful just some little extra vibrations that you know you'll have to figure out on the gas The steering is delightful. Okay, I'm doing about 35 miles an hour. I'm gonna hit these brakes pretty good. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, we've got some normal brakes on here, so we're, you need to prepare to stop. Uh, <clears throat> nothing locked up. I got on them pretty good, uh, but uh, just normal drum brakes, I, I would believe, on this car. Uh, one, another thing that we'll find once we get this up on a lift. But uh, runs great, transmission runs great. There's just slight vibrations that show up and uh, I'm not really sure what they are. So uh, there you have it. I'm still in, ga in, in, uh, in drive, my foot's back on the gas pedal. I'm gonna go over speed bump number one here. We've got speed bumps in the lot. Very smooth. Yeah, suspension's wonderful, transmission's wonderful. Just some uh, annoying little vibrations going on that uh, need to be dissected. Yeah, brakes work great. All right, let's get on it. Got up to 50 miles an hour real nice. On my right turn signal on, I can hear it. With my foot on the brakes, all, all the brakes are pretty much equal. Doing a hard right here, got a seatbelt making a little bit of noise back there. No big thing. Now I'm gonna make a hard left here. Oh, this is, <laughs> bless you, the suspension is really nice, wow. Just the way I like the suspension, a little bit of lean. You don't feel every nook and cranny in the road. Very nice. Uh, during this drive that I just took, uh, super smooth. The vibrations got a, a hair quiet, got a hair quieter. Um, and uh, but you can still hear them from time to time. And as we sit here, you still kind of sort of hear that little rattle can that just probably just a, a bracket rubbing up against an exhaust pipe. Just wanted to let you know. I don't mean to beat the crap out of it, but you know this thing's got some some strange vibrations going on that you're, you'd want to fix. Maybe a motor mount could very well be a motor mount. Sounds great. Exhaust tone is awesome. My left turn signal's on. It's blinking away. Corrected itself. Yeah, the microphone for the car, folks, and for me talking, is right here on my, my neck. If you, you crank it up real good, you can potentially hear some of these uh, small little vibration sounds that, <clears throat> that it's making. It's a 1972 Camaro, folks. Wasn't born yesterday. Uh, it's a little over 50 years old, and it's still holding its own. Just needs a few adjustments. But uh, there you have it. Give us a call. Stop by and see it. 702-818-1031. Talk to Ryan or uh, Andrew, and uh, you know we'll, we'll do our best to, to figure out these things if you've got any questions. But this is this is this is a great car. We'll see you next time. Thanks.